Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. I have a interesting thing that happened that I need to tell you about. It's time sensitive because this morning, as I was waking up, I had a quick dream as I was waking up. And in the dream, I could see that or hear that John from Watchmen for that great day was going to email me um, something and something about the word position. And so I, I said to myself, well, you just watch. John's going to email me later today. I just know it. The dream was from God. So a couple hours later, I get an email from John. And that's why I know <clears throat> that God wanted me to give you this because Whatever's going on here is from God, and it's a warning that things are really ramping up with this war. He sent uh, some information from Hal Turner that is <clears throat> really for subscribers only, but we won't tell anyone about that. But this is what it reads. Military and security sources have indicated both Israel and Hezbollah are preparing for a large-scale conflict. Israel is reportedly considering a preemptive strike in South Lebanon to remove Hezbollah from the border. In Lebanon, sources report after Israeli cruise missile strikes upon Damascus killed 16 members of Iran's IRGC. Tonight, local time, Iran has given Hezbollah the green light to escalate. Everything is being prepared in the South for war arms, defenses, houses, and food storage. I am told by former colleagues in the intelligence community, it will begin without warning. <clears throat> okay, so, um, and the Israel defense minister, Gallant, for the first time called for drafting ultra-Orthodox Jews into the IDF in a Wednesday evening press conference. So what's going on here is <clears throat> this thing's about to really escalate. It's going to happen very quickly with no warning, just like it says here. Iran <clears throat> has given Hezbollah the green light to escalate. Uh, that is that you know that that's bad. That, that's all. That, that's bad. Um, so. This, this this thing's about to go down and it's about to get a million times worse very quickly. Um, you know, because Iran is getting pulled into it more and more and you know how they are. They want to wipe Israel off the map and they'd like to wipe us off the map too. Iran. Um now, I did look up the word position because it was in the dream. And basically what stood out to me is it has to do with the situation, which is one of the words describing position here, um, a place where someone or something is located or has been put. And also, number two, a particular way in which someone or something is placed or arranged <clears throat> or um, to put or arrange. So basically what's happening is the situation is taking a new arrangement, <clears throat> disposition, stance, and posture. These are all words that come up. In other words, everything is changing quickly. Everything is changing very quickly. The situation will not be the same and it will happen without a warning. And I think that at that point, <clears throat> there's going to be an extreme escalation. And like John had said in the email, the part I didn't read to you, but you know, this is all happening on our date, on our countdown to the X over this country with these solar eclipses on April 8th. 
this country is going to be pulled into this in ways that people do not understand or believe or could even imagine. And yet, it's around the corner. So, you know, tell everybody that, you know, tell everyone you can to get saved because this is, you can see clearly our time is running out. And if you remember, <clears throat> my watch day was today based on the 40-day count to the solar eclipse on April 8th. And um, it's kind of an interesting turn of events here because this is definitely major. So, <clears throat> excuse me, with that, I'll let you go. Uh, God bless you guys. You know, we're leaving soon. The, the church, the body of Christ, believers in Yeshua, we're leaving soon. This is it. This is the end. Everything going on here, the X over America, it's all lining up with the Bible math that's pointing to the seven-year tribulation starting this year. It's pointing to the pointing to the return of Christ in 2030, which points to the rapture before the seven years starts of tribulation. What are we looking at right here? <clears throat> what, what is this? The ingredients of a nightmare on the earth. It's the tribulations about to start. And look at Israel, Jacob's trouble in your face. God bless you guys. Talk to you next time.